I definitely didn't think you would get cancer at a young age. I definitely didn't think it would ever, ever happen to me. Every tattoo has a story to tell. And some are truly inspiring. We're meeting incredible people. And giving them a tattoo based on their personal story. But they won't get to see the design until it's revealed on their skin. Oh, oh my God. Is that what you're doing today? Yeah, yeah. I'm really excited about this one, actually, because she's been through a lot, so hopefully it does it justice. Nice. Hi. Hi. OK. Hello, Megan. Hi. Are you OK? Yes, you? good, nice thank to meet you. you. Nice right. to meet you. You look happy to be here. Yeah, happy yeah. at the minute. <laughs> my name's Meg, and I'm here to get a tattoo to represent the end of my cancer treatment. You ready for some pain? <laughs> Come on, then. Good luck. I actually couldn't really decide what I wanted. So I thought, I'd just get someone to design it and do it without me knowing. I'm on there. Comfy? Yeah. My mum and dad just laughed when I told them what I was doing. They were like, go for it, Meg, why not? Even if you don't love it, it's a funny story. Right, Meg, you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna start now, OK? Mm-hmm. How old were you when you got diagnosed with cancer? I had just... In the November, I turned 21 and I got diagnosed in the January. It was the day before I was meant to go back to uni and I sort of had, like, flu-like symptoms. Then I started blacking out. Oh, my God, that must have been so scary. Yeah. My mum marched me in to the doctors and was like, we're not leaving until she has a blood test. She's not getting any better. And I got a phone call when I was at home saying she needs to go straight to the hospital. And then I was having loads of tests. A few hours later, the consultant walked in my room and just said, do you mind your mum being in here with you? I was like, no, it's fine. They just said, you've got acute lymphoblastic leukaemia, which is um, a type of blood cancer. Yeah, and that's not the word you expect to hear when you're um, 21, is it? No, definitely not. I was not expecting that. It must have been awful for yeah. you and your family. Yeah, it was. It was just horrendous, I think. I had my mum there and we, we couldn't speak. It was a good, good half hour. We just didn't say anything. She just hugged me. Um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna get upset. It's just when I go back, that's like the one part that makes me really upset is like thinking about um, everyone's reaction. I started blood transfusion straight away, and then the day after, my chemo started. I had chemo every day for two years and four months. In the first two weeks, my leukaemia levels went from 95% down to below 20%. So my body reacted in the first two weeks so well. The day I got my all clear was the best day ever, and it didn't feel like it was ever gonna come, but it did. During my treatment, when I was really, really unwell, my mum came in and said, I've got something that'll cheer you up. And she whipped this tattoo that she went and got she out. She got a tattoo? Yeah, and it's, um, it's like a fl lotus flower. I did think it was fake, but it wasn't. And yeah, she's got a real tattoo to represent sort of the journey that we went on together. So how are you feeling? You've been there a while now. Is it as bad as you thought it was going to be there? No, it's just... Well, yeah. Yeah. It's quite sore. <laughs> well, the good news for you is we are done. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm very fussy when it comes to tattoos. I hope I like it. Megan, you ready to see? Yeah. Yeah? I think so. <laughs> OK, lovely. Oh. I love it. Perfect. Yay. So. Your mum got the lotus tattoo, which she told us about earlier, and she got that for you, so now you have one for her. And That's amazing. the peony, um, it represents healing, so I just thought that was you all over. Yeah. Thank so. you. I'm never going to forget what I've been through, so when I look at the tattoo, it definitely will represent the journey I've been on. It is a positive thing. Oh, I love it. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. No problem. That's amazing. I've done it and I can, yeah, I can't get anything. <laughs>